Hello pretty crafty fans! Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to show you how to make these easy fall decor. So if you want to learn how, keep on watching! As you can see, I'm going to reuse my spring wreath. So I'm just going to remove the flowers. I'm going to use these fake berries and fake leaves and I'm just going to cut them off. And then I'm just going to place it on the wreath. I'm just kind of arranging it just on one side. Now that I'm happy where I put the berries, I'm just going to hot glue it on the burlap. I'm going to use a generous amount of glue so the berries will not fall off. And then I'm also going to cut off the leaves and I'm going to randomly glue it around the wreath. And the first project is done. This wreath only cost me $2. For the second project, I am going to make some glass coasters. You can get these rope in any hardware store. They were only less than $5. The first thing I will do is add a blob of glue on the end of the rope, or fold it like this. And hold it for 5 seconds until the glue is dry. Going to add glue as I go. So basically, you're just going to coil the rope like this. You can make it as small or as big as you want to. You can even make a tray. Once I'm happy with the size of the coaster, I'm just going to cut it off and then glue the ends and I'm done. For DIY, I am going to make a wood slice chalkboard. This one is really easy. You can get this wood slice in any craft store. Here I'm just wiping off the dust on the surface. I'm going to be using this black acrylic paint. It's in matte finish. But I totally recommend that you use a chalk paint but I didn't have that at the moment so I just use what I have. And then I'm just going to paint the wood slice just like this. And for the border of the chalkboard, I'm just going to use a sharpie just to smooth out the edges so it's not as rough. And now using a chalk pen, write whatever you want to write on the chalkboard. Here I'm just writing the word blessed.
And the last DIY is the most easiest of all because you are just going to need a clear vase big enough to put teeny weeny pumpkins and just put it inside the jar and you're done. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like the simple DIYs that I showed you today. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday.